Hey Scorpio, welcome to your general love reading for the first half of November 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it's a general reading, it means it's not going to be everybody's situation. That is perfectly okay. It also means that the roles can be reversed, all right? So we will be looking at your person's energy towards you in this round of the Zodiac readings, but it could be that you are watching for a Scorpio Scorpio, um, or it could be that you are a Scorpio. All right, it can go either way. If you would like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box below this video. All right, Scorpio, let's see what is going on with this person that you are dealing with. First couple weeks of November 2022. All right, for this situation, we have the Nine of Pentacles crossed by the King of Swords. All right, let me just get a couple more. For the recent past, we have the Knight of Swords. For the near future, we have the Ace of Pentacles. In their conscience mind, we have the Sun. All right, Leo energy. And in their subconscious, we have the Ace of Cups. All right, Scorpio. I feel like this is somebody who right now, they're kind of wanting, either wanting or just, you know, acting like they are single or wanting to be um, independent, possibly really focused on their finances as well. So maybe they're working on their um, financial situation, trying to really be um, abundant in that area. But also I'm getting that, you know, at the moment, like they're, they're a little bit detached, or at least it seems that way. Um, there's a decision here they need to make about this. It's almost coming in as, you know, them just kind of finding themselves in that position and not really um, doing much in either di direction. Like it almost feels like it's not like, how do I say this? It's not like a conscience decision for them to um, be like independent or single from you. It's kind of like, yeah, you know, that's just the status at the moment. So yeah, it's not really making much sense to me. That's just how the message is coming coming in. I just get that it's not something that they really have like thought about. It's not like they're thinking, yeah, I wanna be single. No, it's kind of like they're just in that position. So I hope that somehow makes sense to you. Um, let's see, with the Knight of Swords being in the recent past. Yeah, so there was some action, or maybe this person, like, maybe the action was that they left. I might actually clarify that Knight of Swords. Um, but they're definitely, this is the interesting thing. It's like the, about you, in their conscious mind, you make them happy. You make them happy. Um, and not only that, there's, there's a lot of love here as well, right? This is in their subconscious. So that love is real. It's deep. It's pure. It's there. So we'll see because in the near future, they are moving towards some kind of a new beginning um, in the 3D with you. So taking some kind of a practical step here, like an actual step. It's not just energetic. Let's see their current energy towards you. We have the Queen of Cups. For your energy, we have the Empress. And for their hopes and fears, we have the Hanging Man. All right, so again, a lot of love showing up here. Their energy towards you, they feel a lot of affection for you. They feel um, just love. I feel like, you know, they can actually like pick up on your energy intuitively as well. As for you, you know, I feel like you're just doing the best that you can to be the best version of yourself. Um, I do see that you still care for this person. Um, but through this experience, you're also discovering a lot about your own self-worth here. With the hanging man, yeah, it feels like this is this could be a part of their block. Um, but mostly, they, it, I'm getting that this is a fear that things will just kind of stay how they are or like if they don't take action i feel like this person knows that they are the ones who need to take action right i mean king of swords being in the challenge position here you know they know that they have to take action but but they haven't been so there's a fear of them kind of staying stuck in this in this dynamic in the way that it is and i feel like you know they wouldn't want that so let's let's try to make some sense out of this Let's see the Nine of Pentacles with the King of Swords. All 
the Six of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles again, and the Lovers. All right, so Gemini's energy showing up here. So we have Leo and Gemini on the table for now. There's distancing. It definitely feels like there's some kind of distance between the two of you. Even if you are in communication, there's been some kind of a distancing. Um, again, I feel like for some of them, it could just be that they're very, very focused on work. Um, almost like not, not intentionally. And I know, I know that, you know, when somebody really wants to see you, when somebody wants you, you know, they're going to put in that effort. They're going to do that. They're going to, they're not going to just let work take over. All right, and I 100% agree with that. So I'm not excusing this person. I am just reading the energy that I am seeing here. Yeah, this person has distanced themselves. It could be that, you know, they also have like a little bit of this fear of losing their independence. Um, so that could be a part of it as well. But again, it's like, I mean, look at this, the lovers. Like there's definitely a very, very strong connection here and they're definitely feeling very strongly for you and about you. Let's see. Let's see the Knight of Swords for the recent past. All right, we have the Wheel of Fortune and we have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, so they... Again, I feel like they just kind of allowed things to just kind of like take over like they just weren't really thinking and just like one thing led to the next like I feel like they just had a lot of things that they were that they were dealing with um both on the practical level but also emotionally so then things just kind of the one thing led to the next and then you know I feel like this person just gradually drifted that kind of a thing and Again, I know it doesn't make sense because when somebody wants you, you know, they're going to want to see you. Yes, I totally get that. I see this person, though, wanting you, but also allowing themselves to have drifted because there's the, there's obviously something else underlying all of this as well. All right. Um, but this is how this is coming in, at least, you know, for now. This doesn't mean that this is the gist of your whole situation. Like this is just an energy playing out currently. Let's see the sun. We have the Page of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Okay, see, so they're very, very much aware that you make them happy. Like that they know. Um, not only that, I feel like they're, there's something that's very like inconsistent about them. Almost like they have this tendency to avoid happiness. Like they know that this is what would make them happy, but there's also this, um, what's the word? Like it, they're just inconsistent in terms of actually allowing that to be in their lives or maybe even feeling like they deserve that, all right? Because the Nine of Pentacles, that also does talk about a sense of self-worth. And so it could be that this person feels like, you know, they deep down that they don't deserve this. And so they just kind of allow themselves to drift away from it. But there's definitely like, I feel like, you know, they might just sometimes take action towards it and then sometimes allow things to just take them the other way. Like they might even have a hard time being consistent with a lot of other things in their lives, not just not just in terms of love or not just in terms of you. And again, I'm not, I'm not excusing them. This is just what's happening. Let's see the Ace of Cups for their subconscious. The Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Yeah, it's, I mean, the love is there. It, it can't be any more clear than this. The love is there. And it's also like something again that I feel like they're just really taking their time with. Like it just seems like this person is not in a rush at all. And maybe they were right in the, in the recent past with the Knight of Swords, like it could have even been that this person like rushed in and then, you know, just kind of like slowly like distanced themselves. Um, 
it just feels like that's kind of like a pattern and that can be very toxic. All right, that can be very toxic for the other person, right? Which would be you in this case, unless the roles are reversed and you're the one um, being in and out of this person's life. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a lot of love here and it definitely feels like, you know, this person gives, gives to this, but, but doesn't go all the way. Let's see the Queen of Cups for their energy towards you. We have the Four of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so the emotions are there, but it's like, again, I'm, I'm getting some passivity. Like, just not taking much, much action here towards you at the moment. It could be that, yeah, I don't know. They're they're being cold. It's it's like their behavior right now is not very representative of their emotions. Like there's this clash there between how they feel and what they're doing. And of course that's, you know, not something that, you know, you should accept obviously. And I don't think you are. It doesn't mean you don't have feelings for this person, of course. I do see them though gaining a lot of clarity in terms of how they feel like it's there you know and they already know this they already know it's it's very much in their consciousness that you make them happy and i do feel like you know they do keep an eye on you also they definitely do and not only that they're very um intuitive in terms of what you're going through or what you're also feeling it's like you're just connected in that way so yeah they are but they're gaining like more clarity on this like it's just coming more and more to their forefront of their minds and thinking about you know how how it is that they that they feel about you and realizing that well you know like why is there this distance why did i just allow myself to drift like that so trying to get to the bottom of that of what it really is um wh what is really causing that Let's see the Empress for you. We have the Seven of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, see, so you, I feel like, yeah, for the most part, like, you you do feel like you could find happiness with this person as well. Um, but you're currently trying to block them out because of, well, because of their behavior or lack thereof. So yeah, you're protecting your own self and I do feel like, you know, you are going after your own happiness on your own at the moment and finding the best version of you working on yourself, creating for yourself and just saying no to this kind of a dynamic here. Let's see the hanged man. The Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. So this is for their hopes and fears. Um, it almost feels like this person feels like maybe they waited too long. And so this kind of makes them a little bit more stubborn. Like the more like time passes, like the more they're just kind of holding back because it's already been so long and like it would just be weird. However, they do want to start over. Like they do want to take some steps in the practical. And I say this because, well, we do have the Ace of Pentacles showing up a second time, right? And that's also what is coming up in their near future, which is also what showed up there, clarifying the hanged man for their hopes and fears. So let's actually clarify this <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles. We have the Hierophant and we have the Three of Wands. All right, so also Taurus. Some of you might be dealing with the Taurus. Um, did I call out Gemini? I don't remember if we had a, yeah, Gemini, Leo, <clears throat> Taurus, but of course you could be dealing with any sign. All right. Um, yeah, they're wanting this. Uh, they're wanting this. And I do see them actually like trying to bring some kind of a plan into, into action. It does feel like they're waiting a little bit, to be honest, but they do want this new path with you. And it does feel like, you know, they, they realize that, all right, you know what, like we either need to do this seriously or, or not, because I don't know. It's almost like this person can't function like in, in like an in-between thing. Maybe it's like an all or nothing, you know? And so I, I do see them though, wanting to start this fresh 
in a more serious manner, in a like, you know, more committed manner. Um, but I do feel like it's just taking them a little bit of time, but there is a plan here that they do want to put into action. For some of them, it could even be that, you know, there's a little bit of a fear of losing that, that independence. All right. And, um, having to share some of their independence, like, like it's just, it, that's just how it came through. So yeah, that's, that's what it is. But something's definitely happening here. I see them also here with that three of wands, like that's them thinking about the future, right? And thinking about the future is this, this hierophant here, which could even represent marriage, but it's definitely something long-term. So wanting to start off by taking things a little bit more seriously and having like a more solid foundation, basically. All right, Scorpio, let's see if this resonated. The final message we have is the full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. So yeah, take that however it resonates for you. I do also feel like this is applying to the other person because like I said, because they've waited so long, so it just feels awkward for them now. That's pride, you know, that that's ego, like, okay. So I do see them kind of um, releasing that and not letting that pride get in their way when they come forward for this Ace of Pentacles and Hierophant here. All right, Scorpio, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.